In the 1960s, Daniela Bianchi, a renowned Italian actress, gained recognition for her talent. She was born in Rome on January 31, 1942. Her international notoriety came through her portrayal of the character Tatiana Romanova in the James Bond film titled From Russia with Love. Her performance as a Russian spy captivated fans of the famous secret agent. In the early years of the 1980s, Demi Moore, a renowned American actress, began to shine. She was born on November 11, 1962, in Roswell, New Mexico. Initially, Demi entered the world of entertainment as a model before achieving well-deserved recognition as an actress. In the context of World War II, when the availability of stockings was scarce, women found creative solutions to simulate wearing nylon stockings. One widely popular technique involved applying makeup to the legs and drawing a line with eyeliner to mimic the distinctive seam of stockings. The construction of the iconic Eiffel Tower in Paris, France began in the year 1889. Engineer Gustav Eiffel was responsible for the project of this structure, initially conceived as a temporary construction for the Universal Exposition in Paris, commemorating the centenary of the French Revolution. The building of the Eiffel Tower was a meticulous process, requiring approximately 18,000 iron pieces for its completion. During the 1950s, Jane Mansfield garnered significant attention due to her beauty and voluptuous physique. With her platinum blonde hair and curvaceous figure, she stood out among other stars of the time. Her provocative style and captivating personality captured the attention of both the public and film studios. In Japan, during the year 1900, it was common to see Japanese women carrying their children in a bucket balanced on their heads. This practice demonstrated the skill and adaptability of Japanese mothers in their daily lives. This improvised form of transportation allowed mothers to conveniently and efficiently carry their children while performing their daily tasks. In the 1920s, something peculiar began to be seen in the London Underground, fruit vending machines. These machines represented a convenient and innovative way to offer fresh fruit to passengers of public transportation. Strategically installed in subway stations, these machines provided a variety of fruits, including apples, oranges, and bananas. In the 1957 film titled Boy on a Dolphin, Sophia Loren, a renowned Italian actress, delivered a brilliant performance. In this role, she showcased her talent and captivating charisma, solidifying herself as one of the most memorable figures in cinema. Sophia Loren portrayed Estella, a young fisherwoman who resides in a picturesque coastal village. On April 10, 1914, a group of employees from the city of Greenville, South Carolina, gathered for a photograph that would be remembered. In this image, they proudly posed alongside their Harley-Davidson and Excelsior motorcycles. During that time, the Harley-Davidson and Excelsior brands were recognized and respected as symbols of excellence in the world of motorcycles. In the mid-1980s, Heather Locklear, a talented American actress, reached the height of her popularity. During that decade, Heather gained recognition for her stunning beauty and exceptional talent. She shone in several highly successful television series, notably for her role as Sammy Joe Carrington in the series Dynasty. For over a century, the London Underground has played a crucial role in the daily life of the capital of the United Kingdom. Since its opening in 1863, the London Underground has provided an efficient and convenient means of transportation for millions of people. Its significance endures over time, becoming an essential element of the city. Around 1912, a photograph captured a woman proudly posing alongside her Harley Davidson motorcycle. This photo is a testament to the fearless spirit and determination to challenge social conventions that some women demonstrated at that time. Riding a motorcycle during that era was considered a courageous and uncommon act for a woman. During the 20th century, specifically in the year 1900, in Springfield, Massachusetts, a group of Italian immigrants played a crucial role in paving the city's streets. 
With their strength and acquired skills, these workers made significant contributions to the modernization and improvement of urban roads. Their dedication was instrumental in enhancing the city's infrastructure. Around 1974, an enthusiastic student took control of a driving education simulator. This equipment, used as a training tool, provided students with the opportunity to practice driving skills in a safe and controlled environment. The simulator allowed them to develop their driving abilities before encountering real-life situations on the roads. In the 1980s, Rachel Wise, a talented British actress, began her career. During this time, she took part in several stage productions and took on supporting roles in films and television shows. Although in the early stages of her career, Rachel Wise already demonstrated dedication and talent, pointing towards a promising future in the world of acting. In the 1980s, women's hairstyles showcased a wide range of distinct styles. The fashion and pop culture of that period exerted a strong influence on women's hair choices. The 80s were characterized by a time of experimentation and individuality, which was reflected in the diverse hairstyles adopted by women at the time. In rural life in 1927, circumstances didn't always allow a mother to breastfeed her baby, or in tragic cases, the mother may have passed away during childbirth. In such situations, a common practical solution was to turn to the presence of a goat, acting as a kind of wet nurse, to feed and sustain these babies' lives. This practice helped ensure the necessary nutrition for the survival of newborns in challenging circumstances. Jacques Bieder, a pioneering photographer, gained recognition for being one of the first to specialize in erotic photography. In 1928, in Paris, he captured this photograph that became an exemplar of his work. Bieter explored an aspect of photography that, at that time, was considered daring and transgressive. His artistic approach, focused on eroticism, challenged the social conventions of the era. In the year 1946, at a hospital in New York, nurses brought tears of joy to a father's eyes as they presented him with a set of newborn triplets. In this special moment, with care and happiness, the nurses showed the three babies to the father, who may have been surprised by the news that he would have not just one, but three children at once. It was a moment of great emotion and awe in the face of this triple blessing. During the 1950s, Julie Newmar, a talented American actress, achieved significant recognition. Born on August 16, 1933, in Los Angeles, California, she began her career in the entertainment world as a dancer before expanding her talent to film and television. During this time, Julie Newmar shone in movies such as Slaves of Babylon and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. In 1927, the city of Chicago witnessed a chaotic and congested traffic jam that made history. This congestion reflected the rapid growth and urbanization of the city at that time, with a significant increase in the number of vehicles on the streets. The lack of adequate infrastructure and the rising demand for transportation were factors that contributed to the challenging situation faced by drivers at the time. The statues of Easter Island, commonly known as Moai, represent an archaeological marvel constructed between the years 1250 and 1500 AD by the Rapa Nui people. While they are widely recognized for their impressive monumental heads, it is less known that these statues also have sculpted bodies. In the 1900s, Daytona Beach, located in Florida, emerged as a rising destination, attracting tourists in search of sun, sand, and beachside entertainment. During that time, the city was solidifying itself as a popular spot for ocean lovers and water sports enthusiasts. Daytona's beaches provided expansive stretches of golden sand and clear waters from the Atlantic Ocean. On November 17, 1922, a historically significant event took place when the last sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Vahedin, departed from Constantinople, which is now known as Istanbul. This event symbolized the end of an empire that flourished for approximately 600 years. The Ottoman Empire, whose zenith occurred between the 14th and 17th centuries, was one of the most powerful and influential empires in history.
In the year 1992, Nicole Eggert and Pamela Anderson were added to the cast of Baywatch, a renowned television series that depicted the adventures of lifeguards on the beaches of California. Both actresses took on significant roles in the series, gaining a solid fan base and contributing to the ongoing success of the show. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like.